A commenter recently asked to make a video on different apps and software programs you can use to make digital products. This video is the answer to that question where I'm going to share nine different programs you can use to create digital products. Let's get started. The first is Canva. I personally use Canva to create all of my social media and all of my digital products. There are so many different things you can create in Canva. You can make videos, print products, social media, presentations, all sorts of digital products that you can sell. In Canva, you can create all sorts of different designs for anything that you want. You can create art designs, you can create printables. There are all sorts of different things that you can create in Canva. It's also very easy to use and very user-friendly. You can find things in different ways. It's super easy to create all sorts of different things. When you're designing in Canva, you can start with something blank. You can use templates. They also have text that you can add, photos. They have a huge library of photos that you can use in your projects. They have elements. There's all sorts of different things that are built into Canva that make it super easy to use and to create digital products. Canva does have multiple plans. You can use the free version of Canva to make almost any digital product that you want to make inside of Canva. You can also use Canva Pro, which is $120 per year or $12 per month that you can use to basically use all of their premium stock images and photos and a lot of different other things. If you're going to make a lot of products, you can use that. So it's very affordable and of course they have a free product so you can always use the free version too. The next tool that you can use is Adobe Express. They also have a free version and it's free to use forever. And with this you can create social graphics, logos, banners, all sorts of different things that could be potential digital products. It's a little more limited in what you can make but of course there are lots of options here as well. If you click on flyer for example, you can use this to create a product that would be a printable and similar to how Canva works. They also have templates and then they have photos that you can add as well. If you're doing a photo based product, they also have the shapes that you can use in your products and design assets, backgrounds, all of the same things that are very similar to using Canva. It's also web based, which is really, really nice. And then you can also download it in these file types. So it is slightly more limited in the file types you can use versus Canva. But for a free program, it's really, really useful. There are several different Adobe products that are part of Creative Cloud. And if you're doing something that needs really intense photo editing, you might want Photoshop or Lightroom. Or if you're creating custom graphics and illustrations, you might want Photoshop or Illustrator. I also use Adobe InDesign for some of my PDFs and things that I make that are a little bit more complex than what I want to do in Canva. Adobe is kind of the go-to for professional graphic designers. So if you are going that route and want to become a real graphic designer, you're probably going to learn how to use these programs. It is more pricey than anything else on this list. If you use all of the programs together, it's $54.99 a month currently. But if you want to use just one, they basically are each one at $20.99 per month. So Adobe Express does have a free option, but it's also a monthly plan and you can pay $9.99 per month or $99 per year. And that just gives you all of the extras, all of the access to a lot of different things inside of Adobe Express. And then it's definitely something that is really easy to use. Of course, it's web-based and you also can use it. But if you pay for Creative Cloud, you can use Adobe Express included in that since it's part of Adobe overall. Next up is Affinity. Affinity is very robust. It's definitely more robust than Canva, but it is similar to using Adobe. However, the price point is very, very different. So they have a lot of photo editing in Affinity and then they have a publisher section where you can create the digital products that you want to sell to people. So in Affinity Publisher, in this section, you can create all sorts of designs that you could sell as products. It is designed to be used much like Adobe products. So it's gonna have a similar layout where you have a lot of different tools. So it is more complicated to use and has a higher learning curve to use than Canva but it can also do more than Canva. So it's really a nice program. The nice thing with Affinity 2 is there is a desktop version and then Affinity Designer for iPad as well. So you can use this on your iPad. So if you're wanting to be designing digital products on your iPad next to Canva, this is one of the best ones. And the iPad version is only $19.99 and there's no subscription, which is actually one of the best things about Affinity overall is that it's not a subscription-based pricing situation. 
So one of the great things about Affinity is that it is not priced on a subscription model. So whichever program you're wanting to use, Affinity Designer, which is gonna be more of the digital products that are like printables, you are only gonna pay a one-time fee. So you will buy Affinity and use it forever for just $54.99, or if you wanna use it on iPad, that's another $19.99. They are separate, so you will have those separate prices, but it is a lot nicer if you're not wanting to have a constant fee that you're paying. All of these programs are amazing, and if you want something for a one-time fee, I highly recommend Affinity. Next up is Vista Create. This was previously called something else, but is now called Vista Create, and it is something that you can use web-based. It is very similar to Canva. It's a Canva alternative, but if you're wanting to create digital products, it is a great option. They have all of the same kind of like templates and size things that Canva does. It has over 75,000 professionally designed templates that you can use to start. It has brand kits, it has background remover, all of the same things that Canva has. It's very, very similar. So they have a free plan as well that they call Starter. It's $0 per month. And then they have a pro version that is $10 per month. So a couple dollars less than Canva. As you can see, it doesn't have necessarily as many features as Canva, but it operates very much in the same way. Next up is PicMonkey. But PicMonkey is very much about photos and editing photos, and that is their jam. They are all about having the best photo editor. So if you're creating designs that you need to edit photos, use photos in your graphics, this is probably the best one for that. They have a really great web-based photo editor that can make pictures look amazing. So it is definitely something you might wanna consider if you're gonna be using a lot of photos. Then they do have also graphic design tools that you can add text and things to your designs. So it's nice. It's definitely very photo-based if you are considering that. It does not have a free version, so keep that in mind. If you wanna use PicMonkey, it does not have a free version. The very lowest is $72 per month or $7.99 build monthly, and then they go all the way up to business, and that just gives you a lot more features that you don't get in the lower paid version. Next up is actually the free one, the completely free tool, Google Docs. Google Docs is something that is probably not top of mind when you're thinking about creating digital products, but it's very easy to create products in Google Docs, especially things like eBooks. You can put in all of the content that you want in your design and then export it as a PDF and sell it as a digital product. So it's definitely something that if you're going more text-based, if you're creating something like a workbook or a ebook, Google Docs is a cheap, easy way to do that. They have a lot of templates you can see that are just the basics. And then if you are creating something, you can pull in photos that you have found from stock footage sites. There's a lot of different ways to create and then export. It's really easy to create your design in Google Docs and then export it in any of these formats. PDF is preferred for a lot of different things like printables, but you can also do it in several different formats if you need. The next tools for creating digital products are all about creating templates because templates are amazing to sell on Etsy. They sell really fast and they are something that is easy to create and then let your customer edit them. So the first is template. Template's great because you can sell on multiple platforms. You can design it on template and then sell it on template, Etsy, Shopify, WordPress, anywhere. And then your customer on any of those sites will have immediate access to what you've started on template. And then they can edit their template on this site. It's really easy. It's nice to have everything all in one place. Template is not free. You can do a free seven day trial, but to use template to share your designs with customers, you do have to pay either the starter plan, $9 a month, all the way up to the professional plan, which is $99 per month. And then you do get different fonts and elements with all of these, but it really depends on how much you wanna pay per transaction for selling your templates on this site. And then next is Cordial. It is similar to Template. They are the most popular options for having your customers edit templates that you've created. And as you can see, it is all about digital products. So you can create digital products and sell them on Cordial. Cordial is also great about having instructions on how people can edit a purchased item in their software. So that's always nice to do their plan for having customers edit templates. You can start at $7.99 per month, and then of course each item has a transaction fee, so this one is 65 cents. Or you can go up to their largest plan, which is $39.99 per month, 
And then of course, that is a lot cheaper than the other option, which is template. One nice thing about Cordial is that they do integrate with Etsy, Shopify, and WooCommerce. So, so anywhere else that you are going to be selling items, they have a nice integration already. And then the final option is to actually use Canva, which does templates inside of Canva. So if you're using it to design other products, you can also use it to create and share your templates with customers. I have a couple videos on how to share Canva templates. So if you want to look at those videos, you can see how to create templates in Canva and also share them as well. So these are just a few of the apps that you can use to create digital products. It really is based on what you're focused on, what kind of digital product, and then also your budget. So whether you wanna pay a monthly fee, whether you want to pay one time, never again, whether you need the software for customers to edit as well, or if honestly you just wanna start for free and go the basic route. It really depends on where you are. I hope this video has helped you figure out a couple different software options that you can use to create digital products that you can sell online. Definitely check out this next video. It is the one I just mentioned about how to create templates in Canva.